guys, this is Svetlana and Bali Conrad Bali out last with you. So anyway, today I'm gonna be talking about I decided to take some of you into our mm, master classes and classes have been recorded and posted on the uh, website for sale. Mm, there are some uh, I would like to talk about interesting things that you know the, the reason I want I want to say my piece in this it's it says when we recorded for the purposes of uh, you guys understanding what he's talking about and teaching so I normally try not to interfere so much about how I feel and what I do um, because I'm staying with him with uh, his uh, teaching like he's explaining things so I'm trying to stay with it don't interfere too much because if I start to not interfere in a bad way but if I will start to mm, a little bit interact so I can take the uh, his focus, Eric's focus, from teaching on specific thing to somewhere else, you know. And we, I've done it before. I know how it's uh, how to do it. <laughs> Not, and that's why, you know, when we're trying to record for the educational purposes, I try to keep my um, inner voice, if you want to call it. Uh, I want to. I try to keep it down a little bit, not to interfere so much with the actual recording process. You know. So, but anyway, what I wanted to do, I want to take you back uh, in some of the classes because it's interesting to, uh, if you want to know my perspective of how I perceive them. So here's a one, uh, it's, a, it's a technique class, uh, number two, I will put the link to it and that you will see it's where we're talking about stubborn leg, straight leg, how to straighten it. You know, where I was still facing the bar, only two hands in the bar. Uh, my right leg is the most stubborn one to straighten, doesn't want to straight. And you know, there is a, all the time when Eric is explaining something, you can see and show how much my leg uh, can be tight if it's really put in the perspective for me to do it, you know, so how much room is there, that how much I'm not aware that is actually I can straighten my leg to, to that extent. So anyway, so here, th th those are the videos where we're talking about. And then, for example, in this, in that video, in that specific class, when we were recording it, you know, um, I can, you can see how much room I still have to straighten the leg, how much my right leg goes. Uh, consider that I have all the placement holding it in perspective. And um, so now why I'm wanted to, why I actually bring in that part of attention, because there's a different feelings now for me when I'm facing the bar and holding the two hands versus one hand at the bar where we have also that video. Uh, it's in, I think it's in the first video. Yes, it's in the first one, getting back to shape. I'll put the link to that. It's number one uh, where um, Eric was explaining how much he press pushes me on my leg the other way so that I can have room to, to straighten my right leg. And I will now show you, I will explain to you the perspectives between those two videos. So when I'm holding it on with two hands, right? And when you, there, Eric says like, okay, now straighten your right leg even more when, you, when I hold all the placement and I go, and you can see how much my leg moves, the right one in the knee, like I can actually extend. Uh, straighten more right so you can see like how the whole leg goes but what the funny part about it it, it do, it's not like it's locks in my knee and then hyper extends no it's actually i feel that i have more room to actually s straighten the leg and so the burning sensation goes right around the knee here's the knee right so it's right here on the top you know so it's upper layer so it's right here the burning goes inside you know um so yes, I feel it a lot when I actually straighten. And, and the funny part also feels if I sickle the foot, it goes all the way and it doesn't straighten anymore. But if I keep the leg lined up with the placement and I know that's how I know that I do it right or not, is when I relieve my butt cheek on the right side. So the leg goes like this and then immediately goes into the sickle position. I mean, I'm telling you how I feel internally. Don't consider this as that's how you need to apply it. I'm saying this is how I feel it. And just, this is only my perspective as a student. And 
if you, if you those of you who follow us you understand there is my perspective not always lined up with how it looks and how he teaches and i'm just telling you what internally happens in my head when i experience all of this so if i release my right butt cheek you know and so the leg if, if everything is engaged correctly with the placement the leg goes straight there's no sickle moment i relieve the my butt cheek the right one you know the leg here's the foot it goes like this you know and i immediately feel the not the not the pull it's not a pull i just feel that it goes here because the weight suddenly of the leg went this way that's how i know internally you know so now that was only when it's two legs uh, when i stand on two legs and when it's facing the bar in the new videos where uh reshaping but getting back to shape um in the first one where eric was explaining how much i need to be off my leg because i'm sitting on my right leg too much and because i'm sitting on it so uh, he was explaining to all of you guys it's compressing me so it's a, a lot of weight on that leg so anyway but now when he does it if you want to know the whole truth when he actually pushes me and i'll show it to you a little bit of a clip of it when he pushes me off after my right leg to the left side right he actually does like this to to show it to me you know the funny part it feels like if i will just speak as an image it has nothing to do with ballet it's just i feel like it's like if any of any of you experience a flat tire that's what it feels like it just it's flat on this side that's my right leg it's very flat and then you use now the uh crank the car up with the what is that called? Oh, I don't know what it's called in English. With uh, I know what it's called in Russian. It's called domkrat. You know, push and pull the car up, right? To to change the tire. Uh, and so when 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 that's exactly what happens. It's exactly, that's how I feel that he provides me that leverage of. Now I don't know what the word is. Let's call it Damkrat. You will, you will know. You, will, I'll teach you some Russians. Okay, so you know, you know what I'm talking about. The thing that you put for the car to pull it off, so you can change the tire. You know, so it's a Damkrat. That's the thing it's called. You know, to lift the car for changing the tire. Um, so that's what I feel like. He is providing me that leverage, of being Damkrat. You know, so he kind of like pushes me up. You know, and I feel like, oh, there's weight got off, and now I can actually pull the leg down this is what it feels like so um i'm trying to be like a little bit i guess more uh, related in the let's just say more general life of the example of what it feels like but that is actually what it feels like when if you can if you hold the whole placement how he asked me to do and then when he lifts me this way that's what exactly the feeling it's like how you will lift the car when you want to change the tire uh, that's what it is I will learn the word, I forgot. I and I always remember all of the words, but that's what it is. Um so anyway, that's what I remember from that. It, it is that is a that is actual feelings for that when, when he does it. Um but it does feel like you know like you it relieves a lot of pressure off the hip and I can feel like that you can that I can go more and straighten the leg now and all of that it's it's all there anyway the other thing what I also uh, wanted to add in general for this uh, for that video why like how in 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 real life when I walk so you will just see in, in an experiment when I walk um, I notice now that I actually I carry so much weight on my right leg and um, it it almost feels like when I'm on the heels, it goes like this. This doesn't stretch enough, and this one always bend. This one goes come with like stretched. Let's put it this way, and this one always goes bent. You know, so there is a little kind of a limp in a little bit when I walk, and I notice that. And it all happens because I actually carry too much weight on one leg on the the right side. So it's kind of it feels like it's all sitting on it. If I will just go simply, here's a you know like. Here's the hips, here's the legs attached to it. But you know, normally we have, in, in reality, we have a lot of muscles to support it. It feels like it's, the legs are actually equal in their length to each other. If you just, just separately measure them, it's just the way my muscle developed, it just, it got all shifted on one side, like in a little bit. And so that's why I have, a, it feels like it's shorter leg. And when Eric puts me back, it feels like, oh, come on, you know, it's just I'm going in some kind of angle there, you know. So that's that's the actual um, 
you know feelings that happens inside so yes my feelings uh, of how i do the class and what i experience during the class not always matches the um, what you see guys when you're looking at me and uh, when eric explains us it's, it's actually makes more sense when when i see it and when i have the you know understanding of it so yes that's what it is so that's the feelings and the perspective i guess that i always experience and have and it makes a difference you know you know it's you know so i guess what i'm trying to say like it's over the time with the training um the feelings do change about what i actually feel the understanding of the body becomes more um it becomes more in sync i guess with your perspective and yes it's well the the hardest thing is just it's to it's not like i don't trust him it's not even that it's just to accept that i don't have uh, awareness of my own body that well and that I can perceive it that well unless I film it and I see it and I'm like oh yeah he's right he's completely sees it you know so yes when you're watching yourself in the mirror it's not you know it's not true it's not really really the indication of how you really look at least for yourself so yes it's it's better when it's been filmed and then you can look at yourself. Then, then when I do look at myself, I realize, yes, he's right. I do stand on my right side a lot. And yes, that's therefore there's a lot of weight on it. And therefore I need to push myself back to the left. So it makes all mm, very interesting, um, you know, kind of a dynamic when you see when, when the teaching process happen. And that's why I'm trying some, sometimes not to interfere, interfere so much and don't want to interact so much and tell all of my feelings how I feel because, you know, I would rather just to stay concentrated and focus on what he's saying so that I can actually perform and then that would, will achieve the actual result. And I found that that is the hardest thing for me as an adult to really get out out of my own, out of his way. Let's put it this way. That is the hardest thing, you know. I, you know, I need to when when we when I come into the room, it's different. You know, it's just it's really really different. So I guess I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe I'll tell, talk about it next time. Okay. All right. See you. Bye.